Hello, this is Paul from QuickandMobile.com and we are here with the Wheelator, what I consider the ultimate walking device. It's a sideways folding machine. This weighs just 32 pounds right here. Incredibly lightweight. The handles adjust up, the handles adjust down. It basically is a walker with the seat and handlebars right here so I can rest, I can do a lot of things. And of course, in just a few moments, it becomes a foldable power wheelchair. A couple little knobs right here. And then I can put the joystick on and of course, fold the footrest down and it's a power wheelchair. Super convenient. So it's great for when your doctor tells you you need to keep on walking, but you wanna keep on walking, but you also wanna have the confidence to know that you can take a break and that you can use a power foldable wheelchair like that when you're ready. So we're going to go over a couple of things with the Wheelator today. And what I would strongly encourage you to do, if you have any interest in this Wheelator, you can find more information on quickandmobile.com. Right on quickandmobile.com. And if you're on YouTube, you can look right in the description, right in the description, right below this video, there is a hyperlink to the Wheelator page. And we have a lot of information there. So there's a few things that make this wheel of tour exceptionally unique. And we have, of course, a joystick that we'll be putting on later on. And this video is going to get a little bit technical. Now, this basket does not need to be taken off every single time. It's the underseat basket. And when you get your wheel of tour, you do get a toolkit that comes with the wheel of tour. And of course, you have your instruction manual that comes with the wheel of tour and we have a pouch here and you can see the pouch here has basically a battery that is going to connect to the machine so we're going to and again I, i'm kind of doing this video a little bit a little bit backwards you get a free battery with the wheel of tour so we actually give you two batteries and beautiful thing about the batteries here is that you, they're, they're travel compliant and all the information is right on the battery. But you're going to find one battery that's actually connected and of course the second battery is just here. It's, it's not connected but it gives you the ability to connect it very quickly. So I'm going to take this battery out just to save some space right now. And then we have the other side of the pouch, this is the CPU. So this is basically the brain of the, of the actual device. So when you do put it in power mode, there, there's the brain, that's, that's basically the computer system. Because if we look here and we've detached this, we can just use this as a regular walker, a regular push wheelchair all day long. So let's go ahead and get this zipped up in, inside the basket. And what we're going to do is we're going to get these parts connected to the actual device. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is kind of show you how this actually connects. So we have a couple of little loops on this basket and I'm just going to loop the one side of the basket right around the little metal pole. So I have something to kind of give me support and I'll probably just do this on the other side too. So I don't have the basket just kind of flopping down all over the place. And you can see that I have that right there. Now, really to get this basket on and off, it would be easier if I was on the actual other side so I could look at it, but I, I did this without any problems. And of course, when you have the basket on, you have a sufficient and ample amount of storage space in the basket underneath the seat as well. So let's take a look here at the actual back of the device now because I've got a bunch of wires and they're all labeled. So basically this is the one that would be for the front controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, by process of elimination, get things out of the way because I want to be efficient here. So I'm going to kind of loop this in a way that it doesn't get pinched when it's folding up. I'm going to loop this through the armrest, okay? And basically, I have the front controller here. I'm going to take this screw out. I'm doing everything kind of upside down. But I'm doing it in real time, and we don't edit our videos. And the reason we don't edit, or what I would consider Hollywoodize these videos, is because I like people to see how these work in, in real time, which is, which is really nice. And a lot of people appreciate that, that we don't put flowery music on or 
elevator music, and we're, we're just showing you exactly how it works. So we see a left and a right kind of connector. We even see a little, you know, there's the front joystick controller. We've got a key. We see that there's some little delicate pins there. So I want to make certain that I am matching that up and then basically just connecting these two and putting those together. Now we have a back controller too, uh, but we'll get, we'll get into that in a moment. So we have the front controller there. Now let's take a look at some of the other things. What is this? This is the right motor. And right here, that's, that's the right motor as well. So we basically see that we've got pins that match up. I wanna match those arrows up. And basically I'm gonna connect the right motor now. And you're, you're probably guessing that, well, there's the same thing for the, for the left motor, which is really nice that I can go ahead and deconstruct and reconstruct very kind of simply here. I don't want to force anything and I always want to get those arrows together. And we've got one more uh, little knob here. And look at that. It's nice that I can kind of put these things in this. People wonder what, what what's that red thing for underneath? Well, it basically holds some of the controllers kind of out of the way and the cords kind of out of the way for you. And that, that makes things really nice. Now I'm not going to tangle anything up here but again, we basically have, you know, our, our arrows. And I've been doing a fair amount of time explaining. So those two arrows go together. And basically those two things go together. And I'll go ahead and put this here. And basically we have a device that's fully connected. So I'll go ahead and get off. And basically the first thing I'll do, look at that. I basically have the rear controller on. I have C1 through C3. Now, basically, this is power and C. And basically, I can kind of move this around C3. So I can basically reverse. I can put that in forward. So I can use that as a controller. If, if I'm actually wheeling somebody behind this, this device, I can, I can wheel them. Or I can basically kind of filter through manual. So if I just see a zero one through zero three, that's just manual resistance, preventing me from going down a hill, giving me stability. And of course, if I fall on this device, it puts double E's and it locks the device up. Super nice, I really like that. Can turn that off. And if I use this as a wheelchair, so easy to do. So simple, just go ahead and push those buttons. Those fall right into place. The arm comes back over and I can turn this joystick on and literally within a couple moments, I am in a power wheelchair mode. And I have two 250 watt motors. It does beep when you back up, but I'll tell you what, as far as utility and the device goes, there's really not too many things that I would put as close second. The backrest is adjustable. I'm comfortable, folks. Thank you so much for watching and learning about the wheel tour and basically how we went from making it just manual walker to putting the basket on to getting the whole thing quickly and easily connected. Please subscribe to our channel for many more videos.